Hi, I'm Tasha. I'm a dog trainer and behaviourist uh, based in Lincolnshire in the UK. And I've been asked what methods do you use to train a service dog? Um, so it's a very complicated process uh, from start. So first of all, uh, some people select a puppy and they choose to have that puppy to raise and then they say that they're going to train this puppy to be their service dog. Uh, for other people like myself, um, we let our dogs be dogs first. We let them grow up and essentially have their childhood stroke puppyhood. Um, and we just do basic training with them during their puppy times. We let them be puppies. Um, we let them explore the world. We let them get used to different environments naturally. Um, and we don't kind of force them into any interactions or going to places or new environments. Um, this way we can see what kind of temperament that they have and the suitability that they may have as a service dog prospect. Um, so we may begin looking at training our dogs at about two years old onwards um, and then by three they should be able to take their uh, service dog tests whether this be for public access or mitigating tasks. So mitigating tasks is very important. This is where the service dog plays a big role in our lives. This can be retrieving medication for us. Um, it can be like giving us uh, therapy. So deep pressure therapy is where the dog will lie on us if we're having a fit or a medical episode. Dogs can alert us if we're about to have a medical episode. They can help us address and undress, uh, do the washing. Um, they can help us with all aspects of their lives because of how clever they are. And um, public access is entirely different again. So public access has been able to make sure that our dogs are workable in the public environment and that they're not going to get into any trouble whilst they're working in public. I hope this answers your question.